The life and mission of Mother Susan Kuruvila of India, our unique and extraordinary reminder to us of the sacred work of God which continues among us and of the Gospel of the Lord. In November of 2008, Mother Susan, then 81 years of age, presided over the dedication of Holy Mary's home, a residential center at the Mar Gregorius Ashram, St. Gregory's Orphanage and Charity Care Center, which he founded according to God's will in 1973. This is the story of Mother Susan and that dedication. At age 13, Mother Susan received the rare grace of the stigmata, the wounds of our Lord Jesus. During the Good Friday services in the church near her family home in the district of Paromala, our Lord called her to himself with this miraculous phenomenon. She dedicated herself wholly and entirely to the life of a consecrated virgin as God entrusted to her the mission of charity to the poor and the renewal of his church. At God's command, Mother Susan moved to the district of Mulanturiti, where she established the Mar Gregorius Ashram in honor of her patron saint. It was Saint Gregorius who had prophesied to her grandfather before her birth that the Almighty would work a miraculous grace by sending a granddaughter who would be dedicated entirely to God. Here at Mulantoriti, Mother Susan led a life of exemplary virtue, prayer, suffering, and service to the poor. The stigmata, which is clearly visible, is a sign of the Lord's continuing presence among us and of his ongoing suffering to save the souls of all. The bishops of the Holy Church, as well as medical professionals and experts, have testified to the veracity of this divine sign with which the Lord has anointed his chosen daughter, Mother Susan Kuruvila. Each Tuesday and Friday, Mother Susan is overcome by the Holy Spirit of God during her prayer and meditation. The wounds of the stigmata open and bleed, and she re-experiences the passion of the crucified Lord Jesus. Her passion also occurs daily, from Good Friday to the Feast of the Ascension. Her intense sufferings, born willingly out of love for God and his human children, bring forth inestimable blessings from God. From its poor and simple beginnings in 1973, the Magragorya Sashram has grown under God's guidance to include a free nursery school, a charity medical care clinic, and a handicraft school. Here, hundreds of orphans, elderly, widows, displaced women, and mentally and vocationally handicapped have received shelter, food, clothing, medical care, and education. Mother Susan depends entirely upon God's providence and the generosity of her benefactors. In November 2008, 
a milestone in the 35-year history of Ma Gregorius Ashram was reached when the new residential center, Holy Mary's Home, was solemnly dedicated. Rita Leone and Denise Torth, devoted spiritual daughters of Mother Susan and founders of the Ma Gregorius Ashram Charitable Association in Toronto, Canada, travel to India to be with Mother Susan for the dedication. Mother Susan and Remban T.K. Matthew, vicar and chaplain at the Ma Gregorius Ashram, join the Reverend Bishop in the prayer room of Holy Mary's home as the solemn blessing of the new building begins. According to the ancient sacred rites of the church, Holy Mary's home is blessed and consecrated. Here the bishop blesses the front doorway under the picture of the Holy Family. A solemn mass of dedication attended by our orphans in residence and devotees of Mother Susan from near and far is concelebrated in the Ma Gregorius Ashram Chapel. The entrance to Ma Gregorius Ashram is festively decorated in honor of the solemn dedication. Attired in their finest saris and carrying lighted candles, the women of Ma Gregorius Ashram prepare for the procession. The procession consisting of hundreds of devotees begins, led by the bishops and priests. The prayerful participants march for several miles along the specially decorated streets surrounding the ashram. As part of the dedication, Mother Susan assisted by Richard Tasker of the Mercy Fund Incorporated in the United States, distributes charity to the poor and needy who came to the celebration. Maria Teresia and Jeremia Zagat, longtime devotees and spiritual children of Mother Susan, have journeyed from their home in Italy to India to be with a living saint on many occasions. Here they look on as Mother Susan feeds the orphans. The Canadian, American, and Italian benefactors are remembered in the daily prayers of Mother Susan and all the residents of St. Gregory's Charity Care Center each day. Hundreds enjoy the traditional Indian feast which has been lovingly prepared and served for them. At night time the chapel and grounds of the Ma Gregorius Ashram and the procession route are festooned in beautiful lights and banners in honor of the dedication of Holy Mary's house. For further information about the living saint of India, Mother Susan Kuruvila, please visit our websites. In India, www.magregoriosashram.org 
in Canada, www.stgregorysorphanage.org, and in the United States, www.themercyfund.org. God bless you.